Welcome to SCC. Today, I would like to give you a brief introduction about Codex Maximum Residue Levels. What is Codex and what are Codex MLs? The Codex Alimentarius Commission, CAC, is a body established by FAO and WHO to develop food standards under the joint FAO-WHO Food Standards Program. The Codex Alimentarius Commission currently consists of 187 member states and one member organization, the European Union. The standards adopted by Codex aim at protecting consumers' health, also ensuring fair practices in food trade. One Codex standard is related to residues of pesticides in food and feed items that move in international trade, the Codex MLs, CXLs. Although these CXLs are the standards adopted and published by the Codex Alimentarius Commission, the subsidiary body establishing the CXLs is the Codex Committee on Pesticide Residues, CCPR. Before a CXL is being established, human health risk assessments must be conducted to ensure the proposals are safe for the consumers. Meanwhile, more than 4,300 MLs covering nearly 200 pesticides have been established by Codex. What is the acceptance of Codex MLs? Codex MLs do not have binding effects on national food legislation in case there are over limits developed for pesticide residues in food or feed. For example, the EU has a legal obligation to transpose CXLs into EU ML regulation in case the risk assessment criteria are met. Other non-European countries defer to Codex and or other national or regional MLs such as MLs from the EU or to US tolerances. Thus, Codex MLs provide an opportunity for harmonizing MLs across Codex members and thereby reducing trade barriers. What is the role of CCPR and JMPR and who does what? The Codex Committee on Pesticide Residues establishes the maximum limits but it's the responsibility of the joint FAO-WHO meeting on pesticide residues, the JMPR, to review the appropriate toxicology and residue data, mainly obtained from supervised residue trials that reflect approved pesticide use in accordance with the good agricultural practice. JMPR conducts science-based risk assessments and recommends specific MLs to the CCPR. The JMPR consists of internationally recognized experts from authorities and academia who act in a personal capacity and not as representatives of national governments. JMPR has met annually since 1963 to conduct scientific evaluations of pesticide residues in food. In JMPR, the WHO core assessment group is responsible for reviewing pesticides toxicological data and deriving no observed adverse effect levels and related acceptable daily intakes for lifetime exposure and acute reference doses for short-term exposure within 24 hours. The FAO panel of experts on pesticide residues in food and the environment are responsible for reviewing residue data. The JMPR proposes the residue definition for monitoring and dietary risk assessment and estimates maximum residue levels, supervised trials median residue values and highest residues in food and feed, which are the basis for the dietary risk assessments considering the toxicological reference values derived by the WHO experts. The MLs recommended by the CCPR are provided to the Codex Alimentarius Commission for adoption as Codex maximum residue levels. If you are interested in obtaining Codex MLs for your pesticide, SCC offers services needed for establishing Codex MLs, like detailed analysis of your database and resulting data gap analysis, dietary risk assessments based on state-of-the-art models, compilation of the regulatory documents and dossier preparation, communication and data management, as well as dossier submission and follow-up. Thus from the compound nomination process to the MAL establishment. In case you would like to know more about our services for Codex MAL setting, please feel free to drop us an email. 
Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for our next videos.